Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel and today I want to talk to you about pre-event handling in Privacy IDEA 2.23. So what is actually the pre-event handling? You might know the event handler in Privacy IDEA, which is available for over a year now. To recap, the event handler works like this. An HTTP request is sent to Privacy IDEA. Privacy IDEA is processing this request based on policies, based on token type, and so on and so forth. Now then Privacy IDEA creates the response. And before actually the response is sent to the client, the event handler can modify the response or the event handler can create new actions. Like best example would be um, a token was enrolled and the event handler, the post event handler, creates a notification for the user. Hey, dear user, a token has been enrolled by the administrator. Now, what is new with the pre-event handling? Again, the client sends a request to the Privacy IDEA server, but before the, pro, uh, the request is processed by Privacy IDEA, at this point the pre-event handler kicks in. It can again trigger new actions, like for example enrolling tokens, changing some certain states, and only after this additional action has been performed, the request actually is processed and then the response is sent back to the client. An interesting um, scenario to use this would be an authentication request is sent to the Privacy IDEA server. Before the request is processed, some actions get triggered in the pre-event handler, like for example, enrolling a token. Then the request is processed and the response is sent back. And you might see that, of course, the outcome of the request changes very much depending on what we have done in the pre-event handler. So let's take a look at it. I will use a scenario of own cloud and email tokens to show you the benefit of the pre-event handling. Here in OwnCloud, I have users in a group two-factor authentication and I have configured the Privacy IDEA app that connects um, OwnCloud to Privacy IDEA and asks for a second factor. In Privacy IDEA, I know the OwnCloud users, the user one in OwnCloud has an email token which will send an OTP value to this email account here. For simplicity, I configured all email addresses in the same account. So if the user, user one, tries to authenticate, he has to use a second factor to log into OwnCloud and the second factor will be an email sent to him by Privacy IDEA. Okay, he uses his own cloud password, tries to log in. The plugin says, okay, you have to use a second factor. The second factor just arrived here in the email folder and the user one can log in. Perfect. So now the problem arises if the administrator creates new users in own cloud. For example, the administrator creates a new user, user two in own cloud. And of course, this user does not have a token yet. This user is also in the group two factor authentication, which means he needs a second factor. But of course, if the user, user2, tries to authenticate, he will not be able to log in because he's missing the second factor. The administrator first has to go to the privacy idea system and 
enrollen a new email token to the user. Email, email, email. Okay. So now, as I said, I used only one email account. So the user two will also receive a sec second factor via email and he will be able to log in. Now, of course, this is a annoying, tedious task if the administrator has to create the user in own cloud and then he has to go to privacy idea to create an email token there. And um, this is time consuming. This is especially a problem if own cloud is managed by other administrators than the tokens, than privacy idea. And this is where the event handler can help you a lot. I prepared an event handler definition here, which says um, if the user has no token, user token number zero, and if um, an API request, a validate trigger challenge is sent. This is actually the authentication request sent by OwnCloud in this scenario. The important thing now is that I'm using a pre-event handler and the token handler module. The token handler module will enroll a new token. It will assign the token to the user and the new token will be an email token. And we, we remember this will occur before privacy idea actually processes the request, which means the user will have a token created before the actually authentication is done. Okay, now we can see how this will actually look like. The administrator in OwnCloud creates a new user. In the group 2 of A. This is all he has to do. Now this new user will go and log into OwnCloud. OwnCloud will send the API request to privacy idea. The pre-event handler will kick in. Will It will create an email token and this very email token will be used immediately for logging in. Okay. The important thing actually is that the administrator also creates the correct user with the correct password. If the first factor does not work out, nothing works out. Piracy idea, okay. Let's try it again. Privacy idea, two factor, okay. Again, nothing else done, only the users created with a password for own cloud. The user tries to log in. Perfect, now it works out. A token was created. Look here, the email was sent automatically to the user. And this just a few seconds ago, the user who was just created a few seconds ago is able to log in. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good understanding what is possible with a pre-event handler and post-event handler now. And um, if you like this video, give us a thumb up and subscribe if you have not done so. You can also follow us on Twitter or take a look at our community forum. So thanks again and see you next time.